county assemblies riddled with an ending conflicts and disagreements have been urged to seek alternative dispute uh, resolution mechanisms other than the courts. Now, this was the message passed across by participants who were attending a three-day workshop convened by the Intergovernmental Relations Technical Team a Committee rather in Kisumu. This, they say, is the only way of ensuring harmony and a good working relationship prevailed. Participants also want the Intergovernmental Relationship Committee made independent to make it a neutral arbitrary whenever there is a conflict between the county and national governments. Kevin Ogutu with the details. It was the third and final day of the Intergovernmental Relations Workshop that had brought together representatives from both the county and national governments the objective being to identify the emerging issues in intergovernmental relations in the Kenyan situation and make recommendations on how they could be addressed in a bid to promote devolution. The independence of TA helped us a lot because we were able to deal with the national government without, being, without feeling to be part of it. Peter Lele, the current CEO of the Intergovernmental Relations Technical Committee, is in agreement with his predecessor. Currently, the committee established under the Intergovernmental Relations Act 2012 is under the Ministry of Devolution and Planning, unlike the now defunct transition authority that was independent. <laughs> this, it said, makes the constitutional body fail to meet the threshold of a neutral arbiter in the eyes of the county government, yet it is the body mandated by the constitution to resolve arising disputes between the two levels of government and between the county governments. The challenge we have been given here is that we need to come out more aggressively. We, want, we need to come out very vigorously so that people know that there is an opportunity of resolving disputes uh, uh, with, uh, with us. Immediate former Senate Speaker Ekwe Eturo is challenging county assemblies to seek alternative dispute resolution mechanisms to avert unnecessary standoffs witnessed in various county assemblies. All those people are, belong to that county, whether you are MCS or whatever interest they are representing, they are the interest of the county. And uh, in a human enterprise, you cannot expect uniformity to be obtained at the same level. There will be always differences, there is diversity, we must appreciate the strength in diversity. Political disputes cannot be addressed by legal approach. Some of the key areas where there's a bit of conflict is particularly in healthcare, where there's a lot, the, county, the counties claim that they've got a lot of responsibilities when it comes to healthcare provision, but there is no corresponding uh, funds disbursement to effect that. Kisumu County, for instance, is in a tussle with the Kenya Wildlife Service over their collection of fees in their facilities that are within the county. Kenya Wildlife Services is a national government institution. And, and the other thing is a, is a county. If it is reported to us, I want to urge them, like tomorrow, file the dispute, and we will be there. Kevin Ogutu, KTN News, Kisumu.